I'm in a bit of a dilemma and it's all about that thing over there. Let's have an update on this bike build, shall we? Right, so uh, a few months ago, uh, I announced that I was doing another project bike build and uh, slowly but surely, I've uh, been chipping away at it. In fact, uh, of late, it's been very, very slowly indeed. So uh, this is the Kawasaki Z750 project build, the Morawaki themed style. Uh, it's basically got a repainted frame, uh, gone through everything on the frame. Uh, I sprayed the uh, all the panels up and I've even scratched them now, so they're going to have to be resprayed. Uh, the tank has been clear coated as well just to preserve its uh, age related uh, marks, let's put it that way. Uh, I've rebuilt the front forks, so all of these have been completely rebuilt. Marvellous. Headlight has gone on with some makeshift brackets. Also, the clocks have gone on as well, just for show. I have no idea whether I'm going to keep those clocks or not. For that matter, even the headlight. But, so the whole point about this build was that it was going to be a kind of rough and ready build in that it was just going to be, in my mind, it was going to be something like I would just build it out of parts that I would find or little bits and pieces that I had around the workshop and that's kind of what's delayed me now obviously if it's something really motorcycle specific that I need then obviously it's going to be a motorcycle part but I was going to try and make it out of bits and pieces things that you find but that's been the problem it's kind of been very slow going and also I've been distracted by other things now the seat it does need to be recovered but at the same time, uh, I've just patched it up there with a bit of duct tape. That'll do. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty much, that's the, the name of the bike or the project for now anyway. Uh, but look, the tank, I do like the tank. Again, it's gonna have a style in my mind that is kind of rough and ready. So I'm gonna pull up to a bike show and say, have a bit of that. And people are either gonna run in screaming or I'm gonna get my head kicked in because it's such a, a terrible build. But I think I'll take the chance. Right, let's get to the other end of the workshop and I'll show you the other thing that I rebuilt. Okay, so this was the engine, the Z750 engine, which has basically been totally rebuilt, or certainly the top end has been rebuilt. And uh, well, it's good to go. I also totally rebuilt the carbs as well. They're ready to go. It just kind of needs to be all put back together in the frame uh, with everything, turn it over and see how we go. So, what I wanted to do the last couple of days was to get the forks rebuilt which I did, and get some parts on the bike, like a dry build, that's what I'm doing right now. So all that stuff is kind of, it's not really tightened up properly, it's just on there and see if it all fits, line everything up and away I go. Right, so I've got that bit. The next bit would really be to get the engine in, but I thought, you know what, I'll do the wheels. Right, so here's the issue. Now stripped both wheels uh, of all its component parts off and uh, given it a good old clean. And that's pretty much where I'm at. I've just given it a good old clean. So you see the wheels, not too bad, not too bad, but lots of little marks all over the place, uh, little chips and dinks. Actually the rear tire is in worse condition than the front tire. The front tire, or, front wheel uh, is in really good condition that side and that side hardly anything to do there at all quite pleased with that actually so it's the rear wheel which are both tubeless by the way and it even tells me it's tubeless on the uh, on the wheel itself do you know I've, I've never noticed that before funny enough I've never noticed a wheel to be stamped with tubeless before but obviously they do but there we go anyway that's a complete departure of what i was uh, really going to tell you okay so there's lots of little dinks uh, all over the wheel both wheels actually and also on this part here which has got obviously brake shoes on it uh the paint is chipping off and all that sort of stuff you can see it there right not really great 
So this build is not supposed to be, as I say, a, a show pony. It's not supposed to be that at all. It's supposed to be just a bike that's been put back together with bits that you can find. You know, initially, I think the very first video I made, it was going to be a Jim Bob build or a Jim Bob Walton build. So basically, if you ever remember the Waltons from back in the day, if you're old and decrepit like me, uh, you remember the Waltons from basically one of the sons. Jim Bob, uh, he built a car from bits that he found lying around. Yeah, fanciful stuff, but there we go. It was of an age. But I kind of wanted to replicate that. I kind of wanted to build a bike from a box of bits. Basically, I got everything here in boxes. It all in boxes. And slowly but surely, I've been splitting them apart, putting all back together again, and uh, just finding bits and pieces in these boxes. I've still got a few. Hold on. Look. There's still a couple of boxes. There's a load of wiring. More bits and pieces there. And shelves full of stuff there. All hidden away. Right. At some point, I'll get around to sorting all that out as well. Right. But for today, the dilemma is this. Do I just add a little bit of touch-up paint here and there and there? Or do I get them properly refurbed? I actually don't know what to do. Because if I get them properly refurbed, you know, completely stripped down and then powder coated again, it's kind of going against the theme of the bike, if you know what I mean. But if I kind of patch this up myself, it's going to look like a bag of spanners. I know that. I hold my hand up to that. I, I just think, yeah, it's going to look naff but maybe there's a bit of beauty in the ugliness if you know what i mean so as i say when this bike build is complete whenever that is it could be another 10 years at this rate um i will ride it to a bike show whether near or far and i'm either going to be celebrated as a all-conquering hero uh, or i'm going to be lynched uh, either way maybe not so extreme in either case but you know what i mean at worst i suppose they can just laugh and I'm sure <laughs> that's what lots of people are going to do. And I'll probably be laughing with them, put it that way. Anyway, so it's not a serious bike build. It's not meant to be. But I am kind of serious about the, the, the finish of it. In that it's got to be in theme with the bike. I'll give you an example. So the little chrome parts here on the, uh, the headlight bracket and the uh, the clocks themselves. What I was going to do, I thought, right, okay, I'll get these re-chromed and I'll spray this uh, up again to make it look really black. But then I thought, I started thinking to myself, actually, that's out of character. That's out of theme. I don't want it to look brand new. I don't want it to, to you know, all, you know, I want a bit of rust showing. This is why I've just clear coated the, the tank here with little bits of rust shown as well, just so it, it keeps its, its age it shows its age it shows the dents it shows what it used to be as it were and what it is now so the mechanicals underneath or the electrical underneath is going to be sound but it won't look great and i think that's where i want it to be i don't want it to look great i want it to look aged i suppose yeah i want it to look aged so this is why i didn't spray these up i just kept them as they were and this is why on the headlight as well with the chrome uh finish uh, i just got a i just got i don't know, i just got a wire wheel uh on it and uh just uh well scratched it up and got rid of the rust not exactly great technique i know and also did myself an injury there you go what what a complete donut so you get the point about this uh, bike build. Uh, it's going to take me ages and I'm chipping away a little bit. And here I'm kind of very tempted just to patch it up with a little bit of brake caliper black paint. And away I go. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I think this is what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to patch it up with this. First of all, see what it looks like. Acknowledge the fact that it is a naff job but also kid myself that it is in keeping with the bike build. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to spend the money on refurbing these wheels and everything and have them all stripped and not have them all sandblasted and powder coated. I just don't see the point in that. 
but I think I need to patch them and make them up a little bit nicer. I mean, the other, the argument is just to leave them as they are and just show the wears and tears. But, but you know, I, no, I, I think I'm gonna just patch them up. Anyway, well, let's see how that works. I'm almost there, I think, with it. I know there's lots of parts still missing, like mud guards. I haven't got mud guards, front or rear. So I'm just kind of thinking, well, actually, why do I even need mud guards? I'll just ride without. And then I think, well, that's a stupid idea. But then I think, actually, no, that'd be a decent. It's it's basically just getting the bike back on the road. And because of the age of it, next year I won't need to have an annual roadworthiness check. I just need to ensure that it's roadworthy. So I'm thinking if I just don't ride in the wet, then I'll never need mud guards. But then again, if I find some cheap mud guards, I might just whack them on. So I'm not too far away. So I could put the engine in it uh, and get that all squared away. I could sort out the electrics so, so that all works. Put a tail light on it, no indicators. You know, it's in my mind, it's actually not too far away, but actually in reality, it's a long way away. And that's the thing with project builds, isn't it? You th especially if you haven't got all the parts. If you've got a bike that is complete, and you're going to completely strip it apart and rebuild it, let's say, and then just take parts off and, you know, so you're making it into a bobber, let's say, or you're just stripping it back. That's relatively easy in that you, you've got all the parts. You don't have to source parts. It's all there. You just have to refurb them. Whereas this, it all came in a box of bits, and I've got to find out which bit is which, and even if I've got the right bit or part, and I seem to be missing still a lot of bits and pieces. It's always the small little things that cost the most in the long run and the ones that you need the most as well, in my experience. But anyway, so that's it. Uh, that's the update uh, of it. I'm going to go to that end of the workshop and get my, uh, get my paintbrush out and start dripping some black paint on there and see how we go. But I think I need to go and do that. Catch you again. Ta-da.